Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about plate carriers and specifically we're going to be talking about the HRT rack plate carrier. Now if you've been with the channel for any period of time, you may have seen some other plate carrier videos that I've done. If you're interested in seeing some of the other ones, that I have filmed, then I will have a card at the end. You guys can check out the entire playlist, but I have looked at some budget options and some not so budget options. And realistically, I would say that so far HRT has been kind of my favorite plate carriers. We're gonna dive into specifically this one right here and talk about all the nuances, but realistically, this is going to be a bit of an upgraded version of the H-Rack from HRT. And I also have a video on that as well. You may be familiar with HRT and specifically this plate carrier if you've been following the Warrior Poet Society. HRT and WPS have teamed up together to kind of push this carrier out in front of a lot of different people. And I now have the opportunity to jump on board and take a look at this and kind of give you guys my thoughts about this as well. Now naturally, full transparency, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about this plate carrier from HRT, but they did send it to me and asked me to give my thoughts, do a review for you guys, and talk about the pros and cons on what you may be looking for and whether or not this plate carrier is right for you. Typically that's what I do. I do pros, I do cons. This video, I think I'm going to kind of meld those together and talk about the pros and cons as I move forward to kind of hopefully streamline this video a little bit because I've done one take on it so far and it was like way like 20 minutes long and I'm not trying to do that for you guys. Try to keep things as uh, concise as I possibly can. But before we get into that video, I would like to take a second to thank our sponsor for this video. I want to say a special thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this video. You guys know Sportsman's Guide. They are your one-stop shop for outdoor hunting, fishing, camping, and even range gear. Regardless if you're looking for a fishing rod, hiking packs, cots for camping, guns for your next range trip, or even a cooler like the Guide Gear vertical welded cooler bag that I was able to get hooked up with that holds plenty of your favorite drinks, has waterproof zippers and fabric, fully welded interior, and keeps ice up to three days, you'll be able to find that at Sportsman's Guide. So swing on by, check them out at sportsmansguide.com and let them know that Fit and Fire sent you. We'd really appreciate it. Okay guys, so let's jump into it. We are talking about the rack plate carrier. Again, I believe this is kind of the upgraded version from the H-Rack and we'll talk about some of the nuances. Now there are a number of different things that I may not cover on this particular carrier that is very similar to the other one in the H-Rack. Feel free to check out that video to kind of get some of the other updates on what's going on with this carrier. I have a link to that at the end of the video as well. So realistically, one of the things that I really like about HRT when it comes to their plate carriers is the quality that they're going to put into the carrier itself. And that's something I highly suggest each and every single one of you guys take a look at is if you are buying a plate carrier, there are very specific things that you want to look at. HRT has reached out to a number of different people to find ways to improve their products, whether that be uh, military, law enforcement, or you know, social media guys like myself and people like John Lovell, the Warrior Poet Society, to find ways to improve their product. And I really do appreciate HRT bringing me in on some of their R&D stuff for upcoming products that they're releasing. And that's why I really kind of jump at the chance to support what they're doing and their products. We'll talk about one of the big issues about this plate carrier that may be um, something that you might want to consider. We'll talk about that at the end of the video, but realistically, this is going to be one of my favorite plate carriers. Now, I've done similar plate carriers from other companies that I really like, but this one, if I had to choose one, would probably be the one I'd grab right off the bat. This is going to be constructed of 500 Cordura fabric, uh, which is going to be more than enough to take a licking and keep on ticking, I guess. But it's also going to have a nice Teflon coating 
on the fabric as well to strengthen it even more. It's also going to have double stitching on all the important things that you should expect. So right where the shoulder harnesses are connecting to the front and rear panels, that's going to be double stitched. And that's a piece that you guys are going to want to look at, especially when you are wanting to buy a good quality product. It's not double stitched. Don't even bother with it. It's just not going to stand up to the abuse. HRT has also developed uh, these clips and these placards to be able to put on the front of your plate carrier. And then on the back, you can see that I have a backpack. They have a double zipper design to allow you to do a full backpack or a partial backpack, set it at the bottom, set it at the top. And that's something I really did like that they thought about how to do that. In addition to that, the zippers are YKK zippers, so they're extremely robust and will stand up to punishment. Okay, so let's talk about my setup and the reasons why I went ahead and went this route so we can talk about some of the different products that HRT is providing you guys, but also other options as well. First and foremost, we're going to have the Maximus placard right up front. And honestly, I didn't know if I was going to like this. This is pretty robust. You're going to have an option for three magazines on top or uh, up to like four PCC magazines up top here in the kangaroo pouch. And then you have um, spots on either side for either magazines or a multi-tool. Now, one of the things that they do to allow you some flexibility on what you're putting in the kangaroo pouch is they have an insert that will come for this. You're going to have to request which one you want, but the insert on this will be either for... Um, AR style mags, uh, 308 style mags, or PCC mags. And it's a nylon elastic band that Velcros on the inside to allow you to put magazines in here and they will uh, be retained really, really well. Now, this is one of the areas that I'd like to see um, HRT kind of improve on because while you can see right here, I've got two AR mags, but I also have an AK-47 mag. And what I wanted to show you guys is the fact that the AK-47 mag will fit in here and you can position it in here just fine. Now, one of the problems with this, as you can see, I'm kind of struggling here, is that it is going to get caught up on the lugs of the magazine. So the front and back lugs on this magazine will get caught on the nylon insert. So for something that I'm trying to do, uh, if I'm running an AK, then I am typically going to uh, use this as an administrative reloading point and then the magazines that are on my belt would be my emergency reload. So if I need to, you know, adjust magazines, put a new one down on my belt as a, after I've done an emergency reload, then I can do that and I would do that from up here. But one of the areas that I'd like to see them improve upon is maybe finding a way to do an insert here that would have polymer um, front and, or polymer pieces on the side to allow magazines like AK-47s to slip in here a little bit easier and then be able to be retracted real easy. And the reason why I say that is because on these pistol uh, mag holders, these pistol holsters right here, they have a plastic insert integrated into that pouch as well. So that's the retention device. Would love to see them adapt it to the magazines in the kangaroo pouch as well, if that's possible. So um, that is something I really do like. It does hold these real well. It does work with AKs, um, but I would like to see it just improve just a little bit more. Okay, so it also has these nice administrative pouches right up front as well. I don't really use them uh, too awfully much, but it is going to allow you guys to put any type of chem lights, uh, maybe some additional medical equipment, like a tourniquet or something like that. You can also put uh, multi-tools, your Skittles, uh, any type of right in the rain, notepads, pens, more chem lights, more Skittles, whatever you guys want, you have the ability to put that 
right in here and utilize those. That is one gap that I have in my setup that I need to start figuring out what do I need to have on my person as I start preparing for, you know, any type of training or anything like that. So uh, really great addition on these uh, administrative pouches here. All of this is clipped in right here and Velcroed to the front. So if you are not a fan of the placards that HRT is offering, then you do have the ability to look at other companies' uh, items such as like maybe Haley Strategic or uh, maybe something from Faro Concepts or anything, uh, any other company out there. If they are able to clip in here and Velcro, then you should be good to go. One of the other things that I really do like with this setup is this style of Cumberband or Cumberbun, however you pronounce it, has Molly. So if you want to add additional uh, first aid kits or additional mag pouches or anything like that, you can do that as well. Down here, I have a small dangle that has a tourniquet and that's something I really do like. It's an additional item that HRT provides. I've been running it on this particular uh, plate carrier as well as the H-Rack as well and I like having it right there that's easy to access instead of trying to reach behind me and grab it off of my aid pouch back there. What they've also done is they've adapted this little tourniquet dangle into a radial um, holder, holster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they teamed up with um, Warrior Poet Society and have developed this little radio holder here. And then I'm able to run my Beofang uh, UV5R through here as well. I can plug those into my Peltors and uh, have comms if I should need them. Uh, the one thing I will say is with this particular setup with that type of holder for the radio is you're going to want to either lock out your keys or you're going to want to have some type of um, plastic shell that the radio can uh, sit in so that as you're laying on your side or in the prone position, uh, the plate carrier is not pushing up against the keys and inadvertently changing the channel or messing up your settings or anything like that. So just keep that in mind as you guys are setting your carrier up. Uh, it does have these little loops on the side here for hydration pouches or for your uh, antennas, which I think is nice because it keeps it nice tucked away, out of the way, and doesn't really uh, get into a point where it could get snagged easily. Uh, naturally, it can get snagged, but not as easily since it's nice and uh, tied down. So that's pretty cool. On the back side here, uh, as you can see, some, some of the uh, B-roll that I've been Putting out is a backpack. Like I said, it will zipper into the back panel of the plate carrier, which is something I thought was extremely uh, innovative for HRT to put up and put together. Again, those are YKK zippers, so they're going to be extremely robust and durable. Uh, but the other thing too is they have two sections of the zippers to allow you to either do a full backpack or a partial backpack um, to, you know, basically conform to whatever your mission specific um, training or, you know, if you're law enforcement or military, specifically what you're trying to do, you can adapt the backside of your plate carrier specifically to the mission requirements. And that's something I really do like as well. This particular backpack I've been using for uh, my hydration kit. So like Camelback, uh, run that line through here. So I'm doing some training. I've got water with me at all times. Or if I want to utilize it for my bump helmet or Kevlar helmet that I have right here, then I can toss that back there and uh, you know grab it later uh, as I'm trying to transport the plate carrier from one point to another. I have it in my backpack, no problem. It's all consolidated into one place. Now the biggest question is what would you use a plate carrier like this for? And realistically, this is going to be a duty use style plate carrier. Now it is pretty um, modular and flexible for you to use it for a number of different things, whether it be training or for law enforcement like SWAT teams, uh, for military guys, if you have the ability to use your own personal equipment, then you can do that. Contractors, there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do. So you can set this carrier up specifically for your mission requirements. However, for individuals like myself, concerned citizens whose 
wanting to have something to help protect them should there be some type of civil unrest or anything like that. Uh, this isn't going to be the type of carrier that you're going to run and grab for a bump in the night scenario. Something like maybe the Ferro Concept Slickster or something like that, something very, very low profile that you can just toss on really, really quick uh, would be maybe a little bit more uh, in, in line with something like that. But for someone who is looking for heavy use, uh, duty orientated, this is going to be a great option for you guys. Something at least for you to consider and take a look at and match that up with other products that you may be looking at as well. As always, I'm just trying to provide you guys with information, allow you guys to make your own decisions with that. But my question to you is, what are you looking for in a plate carrier? Sound off in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys are looking for because that may lead you towards this or it may lead you to another product. And either way, that's fine. I just want to make sure you guys have what you need to defend not only yourself, your family, but your home, property, your life, liberty, and happiness, right? That's what it's all about. All right. That pretty much covers kind of the overview of this. I have ran it through two different uh, carving courses, one with Chris Costa and one with uh, Baratus Defense, and it has been really, really nice. Shoulder straps on this are extremely comfortable, so it allows me to wear this for prolonged periods of time, and it doesn't really bother me, so I really do like that as well. But at the end of the day, it's all about what you guys are looking for. If you're interested, the uh, plate carrier itself is going to be uh, set up for the 10 by 12 style plates, but it will allow, uh, it will have enough room for additional size plates as well. So you can run some of the larger sappy plates if you wanted to. Uh, I am currently running level four LA police gear polyethylene ceramic hybrid plates. I uh, have a review on these coming up. I went out to the range and shot one uh, with multiple different calibers and the results may be very interesting. So stay tuned for that. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. All my Patreon people, thank you for supporting the channels financially. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, there are tons of links down in the description below. I'd encourage you guys to check, uh, take a look at that and see what you think. As always, man, we're gonna get out of here. Freedom through strength, here comes a high five. Take care, guys, bye.